Thomas and Percy arrived at Titmouth Sheds. I've seen a spaceship, Percy whistled excitedly. Pa, snorted Gordon. What a silly little engine. Thomas didn't like Gordon calling Percy silly. The Fat Controller arrived. Thomas, tonight you must take Percy's mail trucks. Thomas was happy to do this. Now he could find Percy's spaceship. I'll show you that Percy isn't a silly little engine, Thomas tooted to Gordon. And he set off into the fog. Thomas chuffed to the top of Gordon's hill. He was looking for the spaceship. There, in the distance, he saw some flashing lights. Hooray! whistled Thomas. There's Percy's spaceship. And he wished down the hill. Thomas puffed closer and closer, but it wasn't a spaceship. It was a circle of workmen's lights. The workmen were fixing some broken track. Thomas was very disappointed. I must find Percy's spaceship, he whistled. So he chuffed on through the fog. Then Thomas saw another flashing light. Hooray, he chuffed. There's Percy's spaceship. Thomas puffed closer and closer. But it wasn't Percy's spaceship. It was the lamp in the lighthouse flashing on and off. Bother, puffed Thomas. But he still wanted to find Percy's spaceship, so he puffed on through the fog. Thomas was very tired, and it was very late. He had searched everywhere. How was he going to show Gordon that Percy had seen the spaceship? And suddenly, he saw them. These flashing lights were moving in the sky. That must be Percy's spaceship, whistled Thomas. He was very excited. Thomas pumped his pistons and raced after the flashing lights. The spaceship was flying lower and lower in the sky. Suddenly, Thomas didn't feel tired anymore. Thomas's wheels clickety-clacked on the rails of the track to see Jeremy the plane coming in to land at the airport. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Jeremy the plane must be Percy's spaceship. Thomas felt very sad. He hadn't found the spaceship. Worst of all, he had let down his friend Percy. Thomas puffed away. He was so tired, the mail trucks felt very heavy now. The fat controller will be cross, sighed Thomas. I've spent all night looking for Percy's spaceship. Thomas knew that now he couldn't deliver the mail trucks on time. He needed help. So he chuffed back to Tidmouth as fast as his aching axles would spin. When Thomas arrived at Tidmouth's sheds, Percy was still at the fitter's yard. How many spaceships did you find? coughed Gordon grandly. It wasn't a spaceship, puffed Thomas sadly. It was Jeremy the plane coming in to land. Thomas felt very silly, but he still had to be really useful. Gordon, I need your help, he tooted. You are faster and stronger than any engine. If we share the trucks, the mail can still be delivered by breakfast. This made Gordon feel important, and Gordon liked feeling important. So Gordon took half the mail trucks, and Thomas took the others, until all the mail was delivered by breakfast. 